What's up guys, T-Fade here, and I got a message today asking uh, about REW and how to kind of set it up and uh, import some stuff, so I figured I'd just go ahead and make a video about it for uh, posterity's sake. So I'm assuming you guys can navigate to roomeqwizard.com or rew.com, whatever the site is, and download it. I'm assuming y'all can get that far, but I just did a fresh install of REW and this is like sort of the welcome screen so um, the first thing you're gonna want to do is to well the, the question I got was specifically about how to import a, um, a house curve so basically you need to get uh, a text file for the house curve that you want <clears throat> and find the number it's like a numbers it's just like a list of numbers here I'll, I'll show you in a sec um, and then save it as a text file and then you got to import it into REW so if you go up here to preferences and this window pops up here and right here this tab house curve and you can just import your house curve into here so we'll go to browse and here it is right here the Harman, <clears throat> this is like the, the quote unquote JBL curve, Harman curve that everybody talks about. Um, even though I think it was uh, Andy W's curve. So we, we will just double click that and right there, we're good. We're good to go with our uh, house curve. So that will be saved in here. Uh, all right, so I need to, um, this is my desktop, so I don't have any. I don't have a mic here, but normally, you know, you would go here to RTA up here, and then this will come up. Now, this is important because the default is not what we want. You want to go here to the little gear icon, and right here, this mode, this mode will be in Spectrum. But what you want to do is switch it to RTA. You want to switch it to RTA. So. I, most people measure in like 112 octave, but you can measure in 148. Like obviously the lower the number, the smoother it's gonna be and the fewer like little peaks and, and valleys that you'll see in your in your curve. So most people measure in 112, you measure in 148 and then smooth it later, however you wanna do it. So we'll just keep it at 148 octave. And then when you wanna do your measurement, you hit this, but I'll do a separate video on that, but just getting set up, um, go there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to file and import. We're going to import um, a frequency response. And oh, wait, let's not do that yet. Let's go to import frequency response. No, that's not what we want. We want preferences. I forgot to. Um, the mic so you need a cal calibration file see this calibration right here you have to import your calibration file for whatever microphone you're using if it's the Dayton you if you don't have your calibration file you can go to Dayton you can find it with the serial number on the sticker of the Dayton um, same goes with the the U mic um, or whatever mic you have so We'll go to browse again, and this right here is my UMIC uh, calibration file. And you'll notice it says 90 degrees. So there's two different calibration files if, if the mic is pointed forward like this or if it's up like this. And most of us, if you're sitting in the seat and doing the moving mic method, you're going to want the 90 degree file because you kind of hold it in front of your face like this. But if you have it on the head, like jabbed into the headrest or uh, Velcro to the headrest or whatever, or on a stand, you'll want to use the regular one. So we'll just double click that and, uh, oh wait, that wasn't it. We want this one. Yeah. All right. And there you go. So I need to, I need to import something to show you guys how to do this. I need to import a frequency response audio data. That's what I need. Where I thought I had it in my um, my documents. Hmm. Oh. Weird. I thought 
actually screwed over. Oh, yeah, there we go. There it is. Open measurement. So you don't necessarily have to do this unless you're working with a measurement that you've already taken and saved. Um, so you just go to File, Import, Measurement, and it'll be an MDAT file. So this is the um, this is the measurement of my Fiesta. So I'm going to show you. Got what the hell is that thing? I don't know what this is right here. Left tweeter, right tweeter. Let's uh, let's turn them all on, all on. So I like to go to overlays right here, so I can see everything big. Right here, it's I, obviously it's if you can't see this, it only goes out to 200. So hit this little 20 to 2,000, and you can uh, you can see the entire measurement of everything. So this is my left tweeter right tweeter left mid right mid left woofer right woofer and the sub now obviously you know a lot of this noise here is beyond the crossover point so what we're worried about here is the the top pieces of this data so now what we want to do is we want to import our house curve so go back to file import frequency response and then the the Harman curve and you can see here it pops up and then we go back to overlays some people will just um, some people will just go to all SPL and you can see it right here sometimes it saves you a click or two but uh, I like to go to overlays and make it full screen so here's our here's our house curve down here, but it's too it's too low for us to use as a reference with our actual measurements. So you go back up to the gear icon and go down here and select your house curve from um, from the drop down. And then when you right here where it says offset, we got to bring it up to the the levels of our actual measurements so if we bring it up to like 50 db it ought to be close so see how i just put in 50 and if you want to just slide it up and down you just you can use this here so there you go that's it and then you can use your um use your house curve and eq to that and i think that's that's about all we need to cover for this for this video. Tinfo, any questions? Put them down in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. And uh, if anybody cares about any of this content, I will make more just like it. Go a little bit more in depth, and uh, we can do a how-to SQ series. <laughs>